morning, everybody. I'm so grateful you're here with us this morning. I'm Christina Pocklington with the Great Start Parent Coalition, and this is Riley. Riley, can you wave? Hi. All right. I work with the Great Start Parent Coalition, and we are all about empowering parents with resources and connecting each other so they have a strong network of support. As a part of that, we have been promoting the success basics, which is based off of the Boston basics, and they are love, talk, count, play, and read. And again, these tip sheets can be found at successstartsearly.org. Today, we are going to practice talking about our feelings. And today, we're focusing on mad and what that feels like and how we can handle it. All right. Let's get started. Riley, would you like to stand up? Back up a tiny little bit and stand up. And we can sing our welcome song. Oh, chairs are for sitting. You can turn around and face around. Ready? So again, it's hello, friends. Hello, friends. How are you? So you're, you've got two flat hands pointed at your chest. Coming out, how are you? Are you feeling happy? Or grumpy. What? How are you? What? Oh yeah, you're showing me grumpy. All right. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. How are you? How are you? Are you feeling happy? Are you feeling grumpy? How are you? How are you? You. How are you, Riley? Grumpy. You're grumpy. <laughs> You're, a grump You're a grumpy dinosaur. Hmm. How am I feeling today? I'm a little bit sad because today it's cold and windy and rainy, and it's just it's not a good day to be outside. So we're gonna have an inside day, and sometimes that makes me a little bit sad. Thank you, Riley. That's a way, this was totally unprompted. This is a way that you can help me feel better when I'm sad. You can give me a hug. Thank you so much. <gasps> Riley, are you ready to sing the Days of the Week song with me? <laughs> and this is the tune of the Adams Family song. Oh, thank you for bringing your chair over. I appreciate that. All right. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Of the week. <gasps> Ooh, hey Riley, if yesterday was Sunday, do you know what comes after Sunday? Tuesday. Oh, tomorrow is Tuesday. What's stuck between Sunday and Tuesday? It's... Mm, Monday. Monday! It's Monday. So we can sing, when we sing our weather song, we can say that it's Monday. So let's ask the question. This is to the tune of London Bridge. What's the weather like today? Like today? Like today? What's the weather like today on this Monday? All right, Riley's, oh, you want to hold them up? All right, can I help you? Let's do it together so we can show them here because they need to be able to see it. Let's hold it up. Oh, is it snowy? It's going to be cold. Some weather people said that we call them meteorologists. They said it might be 25 degree wind chill. So if you go outside, you're definitely going to need a coat. Is it sunny? Are you looking outside? Do you see the sun? You see the sun? It's sunny outside? Hmm, I actually, I don't see the sun. So let's keep going. Oh, is it foggy? I don't see any things that look like clouds on the ground. All right, you're looking outside. Oh, show us this one. Oh. Is it windy? The wind is gonna make it cold today. It's two different weather cards today. Oh, you sound frustrated. Can you show me the next card, please? It's windy and it's sunny. Oh, try one more time. It's cloudy. 
The clouds are hiding the sun, but I'm looking at the trees and they're already moving a lot at my house. So today, even though it's also cloudy, I'm going to put up windy because it's going to be a big deal today. All right, here we go. We know what the weather is. We know what the day is. How no, awesome I is that? Sunny. I know. I want it to be sunny too. Riley, is that making you a little bit grumpy that it's not sunny today? Yeah. <gasps> that might make you. <gasps> That's one way you can get out your grumpiness. You can go. Rah! Can you come help me spell the word mad? Because that's the topic for today. Ooh, you okay? You good? All right, I'm going to look at my handy dandy. Oh, you can put your chair and sit right there because I want to make sure our friends can see these letters. Oh, right. I'm going to help you. Right there. Sit, please. Thank you. What's this, Mommy? All right, ready? We have M A D. D. Mm ad. Let's do it a little bit faster. Mm ad. Mm ad. Oh, mad! I think this spells. Oh, our friends need to see this. I think this spells mad. Oh, Riley. Riley, I just said our friends need to see this, so I'm going to hold these cards. Here. Do you want to point at the letters? That, that can help. So, mad is an emotion you can feel. And we're gonna talk about some things you can do when you are feeling mad. Is that better, Riley? Yeah, good job pointing it to your friends. So when you're mad, there might be different reasons for you feeling mad. So there's one Daniel Tiger song I'll share with you first. When you feel so mad that you wanna roar, take a deep breath. And count to four. One, two, three, four. And that might be when you're mad at a friend or maybe someone in your family. And you might just need to take it. Oh, could you put that back in our calendar, please? Remember, the numbers are hands off. I will help you. All right, these numbers are hands off but you can point to them. Yeah. All right. Now, there's another one. Sometimes you might be mad when you're trying to do something and it's hard. So there's another song that I love and it's grr, grr, grr out loud. Just keep trying and you'll feel proud. Ooh. Hmm. Riley, when you hit me like that, that makes me feel frustrated. This is for pointing. We use this for pointing. This is not for hitting mama. We'll talk about it after class. All right, now we've talked about what we're doing for our topic today. We've talked about some things we can do. Now let's sing a song. Riley, are you ready to stand up and sing the song with okay. us? We are going to do, I'm gonna move your chair out of the way so we don't step on it. We are going to do, whoop, if you're mad and you know it, Cool. Riley, I talked to you about how chairs are for sitting. Chairs are for sitting, not for standing. Hey. Chairs are for sitting. All right. So this is to the tune of if you're happy and you know it, but we're doing if you're mad and you know it. So first we're going to stomp our feet because that's something you can do that's just your own body. You're not touching anybody else, but you're still showing that you're mad. Ready? If you're mad and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're mad and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're mad and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're mad and you know it, stomp your feet. I'm going to get a little closer for this one, because I want to make sure you see my face. So you see my face right now? <coughs> Excuse me. I am happy. But if I go like this... Can you tell that I'm making a mad face? So take a second and practice your mad face. All right. If you're mad and you know what, make your mad face. If you're mad and you know what, make your mad face. If you're mad and you know it and you really wanna show it. If you're mad and you know it, make your mad face. And I know that we already talked about 
sometimes you're mad when you can't do something yourself. So something else you can do is ask for help. If you're mad and you know it, ask for help. If you're mad and you know it, ask for help. If you're mad and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're mad and you know it, ask for help. You can ask from, for help from an adult in your house and they can help you figure out. Maybe you're mad with doing something by yourself and it's too hard, or maybe you're mad with a sibling because they took a toy. Sometimes you can solve it yourself, but sometimes you need to ask for help. If you feel so mad that you're gonna do something you probably shouldn't, you should ask for help instead. Awesome. Now let's do a book walk. A book walk and a picture walk, more specifically, is when we're not actually going to read the words. We're just going to look at the pictures and to see how Alexander is feeling on his terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. And it's by Judith Bjorst. All right, let's read this book. All right, I'm gonna open the cover and here's the title page. And I can already tell he does not look happy. Ooh, I do not think he woke up happy. I think he woke up grumpy. And he might even woken up a little bit mad. His room looks a little bit messy. So maybe that might be it. Things, it looks like things are not in their right place. Hmm. And I'm looking at him with a table with his family. And one sibling looks really happy. And Alexander looks really mad. And he looks distracted. But I'm thinking he's holding a ring. I see a ring in his hand. Can you see that? And he's investigating that. He's checking it out. Hmm. Maybe Alexander wanted it. Oh, and look, they're going for a car ride. Hmm. I wonder where they're going. Hmm. Alexander still looks mad. Maybe he's mad he couldn't sit in the front seat. And then, look, there's all these pictures. And this looks like a teacher, so I'm guessing that Alexander is at school. And then I'm seeing that these friends drew pictures, but Alexander's is blank. So maybe he drew something with his imagination. Cool. He looks maybe a little sad, maybe a little frustrated, maybe a little bit embarrassed. Hmm. You can definitely tell he is not having a good day. Oh, Riley, Riley, that is too loud. Would you like to come read the book with me? Okay, we can find Thomas after class. We gotta be quiet so our friends can hear. Oh, he's feeling a little bit left out, I think. Because look, all of his friends are playing with something. And he's all by himself. That would make me mad, too. And then look, he looks sad at lunchtime. He doesn't look just mad, he looks sad. That's an, another emotion you might have to work through. And then look, oh, this is a dentist talking to what looks like Alexander's mom. Hmm, I wonder, maybe Alexander has to get his teeth cleaned again or maybe he has a cavity. That would not be a good day. Oh no, he got hurt. That's gonna make him sad and not feel awesome. That's not gonna be for a good day either. Uh-oh, and then it looks like he got into a fight with his brother. Oh no, he's still having a horrible day. Oh, and it just keeps going. It looks like they went to the sneaker store and he doesn't like what happened. And then, hmm, it looks like things are not going well at the office. 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 Office, that's where Mama and Dada used to work before we got quarantined. 
Oh, it's messy. Yeah, the office was messy. Do you want to see? See that the office was messy. The ink spilled. This book was illustrated when they didn't really have computers in most offices. They had to write with ink pens and they had to refill them with ink. Now look, there were lima beans for dinner. Ooh. Yeah, that's what was yucky. He did not want to eat it. But look, his brothers are eating it. And his mom doesn't look very happy. She looks a little frustrated. Hmm. And look, he's in the bath. The bath is a good way to calm down. And maybe it helped him feel a little bit better. If you're having a hard time, sometimes a bath and getting in some water can really, really help. And look, he went to sleep. He just, and so as, he, as he was going to sleep, maybe he's thinking, that was a bad day. But maybe tomorrow will be better. The end. And look, he fell asleep. That was the end of his very bad day. Now I'm going to come around over here. Do you want to sit in your chair, Riley, now? And we can talk about some of the things. Not trains. We can do trains after class. So let's talk about some things you can do when you're mad. We already talked about breathing with the Daniel Tiger song. When you feel so mad that you want to roar, take a deep breath and count to four. <gasps> Three, four. <sighs> Something you can do when you're feeling frustrated or mad is pretend that you have a birthday cupcake in front of you and just blow on it as long as you can to make sure that you put out the candle. <gasps> oh, that made me feel a little bit better. The other thing you can do is take a break. Sometimes when Riley is not feeling himself, he might need to take a break. And during that break, he could sit and think about why he's mad and then come talk to me about it. Or he could read a book to kind of distract himself from being mad. Or he could come talk to me and say, Mama, I'm mad. And I would say, oh, what made you mad? And then if he doesn't know, maybe I could give him a snack or a hug and then we could figure it out together. That's what friends and family do. Sometimes if we're feeling big emotions, like being mad or sad, someone we love can help us talk us, help you talk through it. And a great way to start is to say, I need help. So if you're feeling mad or sad and you would like an adult to help you, you can say, I need help. All right, awesome. I need help. You need help? Okay, do you want to come read Tough Guys with me? You don't want to, that's okay. Can I help you after class, please? So remember, oh, I can show you this. So Riley, so these are the colors that we talked about if you're working from home. Red, you may not interrupt me right now. Yellow, First, I'm going to finish this, then I can help you. Green, I can take a break and help you. So Riley, I'm showing you a yellow. So first, I'm gonna finish class. So first, I'm gonna read this book, do the calendar, and talk about our homework, and then I will be able to help you. Does that make sense? Yeah, I know that you want help with your trains, and I hear you on that. But we're gonna read our book. This is called Tough Guys by Keith Negley. Oh, that's my dog. Oh, Lucy is having a big emotion right now. She's trying to defend our house. And if I can get her to be quiet so we can hear. Come on over, Lucy. Hey, Lucy, come here. I'm going to distract her and give her a break from looking out the window and growling at people. Hey, Lucy, come here. Lucy, come here. You're going to get to meet my dog. Come here. Come here, puppy. <gasps> Can you sit? Oh, good dog. You don't have to worry about the people outside. You can take a deep breath. <gasps> oh, you don't need to growl. Can you look at our friends over here? <gasps> oh, you're a good dog. You're a good dog. <gasps> Thank you for coming by. Would you like to read this book and take a break with me? Let's read this book called... Whoop. 
<laughs> she's asking for help in dog ways. All right. Yeah. And she's needing attention. That's something that if you're feeling mad, you might just need some attention. All right, Lucy, lie down. Lie down. Lie down. Good dog. Now, hopefully we've gotten all of our distractions out of the way and we are ready to read our book. Tough guys have feelings too. It's not always easy being a tough guy. You might not think it, but tough guys have feelings too. Even when they're with their best friends, ooh, it looks like they're upset at each other. They might have to talk about what they're feeling and why. <gasps> Look, or when they're on, or even when they're on top of the world, he still looks a little bit sad. <gasps> Not everything works out. Look, the cowboy fell off his horse. He can always get back on. This can be very frustrating. Look, the pirate is trying so hard to find his gold. He's getting frustrated that he's not able to find it yet. <gasps> no matter how strong. Look, the knight's sword broke and he looks a little bit sad. <gasps> Go fast! He can win. Oh, did you think he win? Do you think he won? Or do you think that maybe he lost? I'm looking at this blue car, and it looks like the blue car crossed the finish line before the red car, and he is sad, and he's crying, and that's okay. <gasps> or no matter how brave they are, look at this brave sailor. He might be a little bit worried, and that's okay. <gasps> Everyone has feelings. Well, most of us anyways. And it's okay to show them. Look, the biker is sad about the squirrel on the road. Just like these tough guys who love each other very much. When we put Riley to bed, he and his dad always do a hug and a kiss goodnight. Because in addition to showing big, big, big feelings, like being mad and sad, sometimes you have a big, big, big feeling about feeling loved. I hope that's something you have in your life because I love you. This is the sign language for love you. Riley, would you like some help? Because I know that can be a little bit frustrating for you because it's hard to put those finger just fingers down by yourself. So look, Riley signing, I love you, because he loves you too. All right, Riley, we gotta do calendar really, really quick, okay? Would you like to sit in your chair or sit near mama's feet? Okay, well, come on over. So we've already talked about the day of the week being Monday. So, and let's see how many days we've had in April. Can you come over here, Riley? Let's count together. Do you want to hold this and help Mama point, or Mama's going to do it? All right, Mama will do it. So we know that it's April, and then a lot of times it rains in April. It might rain today. It might be windy today. It's going to be cloudy for sure, but let's see how many days we've had in April. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13! Woohoo! It is April 13th. Oh, nicely done. Some people celebrated Passover over here, and some people celebrated Easter over here. And let's take a second and look at our pattern. See what we've been doing. So we have main umbrella, rain. Pink umbrella, rain. Green umbrella, rain. I'm going to take it away so you're going to have to guess it. Green umbrella, rain. Pink umbrella, rain. Green umbrella, rain. Pink umbrella, rain. Oh, what do you think I have in my hand? Riley, what, do you know what's in Mama's hand? If it goes 
green cloud, pink cloud, and we've just had pink cloud. Do you think this is going to be a cloud or an umbrella? Umbrella. Umbrella. Do you think it's going to be pink or green? Pink. You think it's going to be pink? I think it's going to be green. All right. So let's talk about just three colors really, really, really quick. Because that's 26. So blue. Sometimes when you're feeling sad, friends might say you're feeling blue. You're feeling green. You're green with envy. You want someone else's toy. That might make you mad. So you take a deep breath and talk about taking turns or sharing. That's something you can do. And then if you're red, it could be because you're happy or you're someone, there's a saying, you're so mad you can see red. If you can see red because you're mad, that tells me you need to take a break, <gasps> take some deep breaths, read a book, or talk about it with somebody who can help you. Riley, let's come on over here so we can talk about how we do these things together. Can you stand up, please? Well, Riley's out. We're gonna use my puppet for a second. Hello, friend. So if you are feeling mad, what's something you could do? We're gonna take a deep breath together. Ready? Breathe it out. Deep breath in. <gasps> you could ask for help and maybe I could give you a hug. Maybe that would help you feel a little bit better. <gasps> or we could read a book together or we could talk about it. How are you feeling? I'm feeling very mad. My brother took my toy. Hmm. Let's go fix it together. I hear that you are feeling mad. And I would like to help if you're okay with that. Thank you. All right. So for your homework today, I would like you to practice some of the techniques that we've practiced today in case you get mad. And it's okay to feel mad. And you can show it in ways that don't hurt someone else's body. You can, again, you can stomp. You can take deep breaths, you can make a mad face, you can ask for help, as long as you keep your hands to yourself. All right, I hope you have a lovely, lovely day, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. You are wonderful. Bye.